Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Dr. Ravindra, consultant surgeon. Thank you very much for all the love and support that you have showed me. And if you want more such videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button to get notified every time I post a video. It has been found that around 10% of the COVID-19 patients will get recovered, still have the lingering symptoms like the fatigue, loss of smell and tears, dry cough and others. So why is that? It will take many months if not years for the science to provide the definitive answers. It's a mystery world yet to get explored fully. Most commonly the COVID-19 recovery patients complain about the fatigue. Why this happens is not well understood but it is likely due to three things that I am going to mention. First thing, immune system dysregulation. It means the defensive system or the system that fights against the external pathogens like the virus, bacteria, fungi gets dysregulated. The other is ongoing inflammation even after when the coronavirus infection is over. That is when our body becomes hyperactive and reacts to the coronavirus infection unnecessarily. And the third and the last point is that direct damage to the brain or the spinal cord that disrupts the communication of the peripheral nerves. To those who do not know about the spinal cord, the spinal cord is a bundle of nerves situated at the back of your body. It connects the peripheral nerves to the brain and helps to sense the different senses like the pain, toss, temperature, cold and others. Some scientists have come with the term dysautonomia as the cause for the lingering symptoms. Dysautonomia means the imbalance in the autonomic nerve system. Autonomic nervous system is nothing but that helps to regulate the respiration, heartbeat, blood vessel function, sneezing, coughing and others. So it plays a vital role in that. When our immune system overreacts to the coronavirus infection, the autonomic nervous system gets imbalanced because of which we'll have the difficulty in breathing, we have palpitations and we have fatigue and other symptoms. In next video, I'm going to tell you about the long-term health risks of the coronavirus infection over the body systems and organs. If you find this video useful, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. God bless you all. Stay safe, stay healthy and stay connected.